according to the state of Alaska, there are about 30 communities in Alaska that do that are considered unserved. And um, unserved being where more than half of the community does not have uh, pipes, does not have a covered hall system, or does not have a septic or tank. Um, so, and in, in terms of like a population p- number of people, that's about uh, 7,000 people um, that do not have an adequate, you know, uh, supply or, you know, access to water. Mm. The other communities that do have water, their systems are aging and they are, you know, about 50, 60 years old. They're, you know, essentially kind of held together by, you know, what they call band-aids, mm. you know, and um, they're in extreme disrepair. And so for the, for the 30 communities that are considered unserved, uh, they, what they have, what they use and rely on are um, they have to haul water themselves. Um, there is, you know, normally a water treatment plant, but there isn't pipes. So they have to go and collect the water themselves. They have to, you know, bring containers. Um, they're typically in, you know, uh, I want to say that garbage cans they bring you know they're clean garbage cans Mm -hmm. um but they have to haul it back to their home and they also use uh what what are called honey buckets um not a glamorous thing it's essentially a bucket that they use inside their home for their uh for their sewer Mm -hmm. 